Now, on another <laughs> note, though, Toon, uh, 50 Cent says that Tyler Perry and Oprah, they owe Monique an apology for blackballing huh. her, and he's I about to put her back that. to work. What are your thoughts about that and then just the industry in general to where people feel like man. they can blackball somebody or they can man. just do them wrong? Listen, man, 50, shout out to Curtis Jackson. Yeah. We must connect soon, whether it's management yeah. Whoever out there see this interview that's next to 50 Cent, you plug us together, I got an envelope for you. Yeah. Um, but 50 is a real boss for that, man. And um, straight up, I would love to interview Lorenz Tate one day. Mm. Because something happened to where Lorenz Tate don't really fuck with the industry the way he used to. Something uh. happened. And 50 is the guy who's really rounding up all the yeah. solid dudes who he know that's hella talented. Yeah. And man, that's so dope to see him... Um, um, uh, embrace uh, Monique and pull her in like that because whatever he do is gonna be it's gonna be epic because she's so fucking talented. Exactly, she's funny and she's a great actress. When you think about industry politics, though, too, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on that? Because a lot of people come into the game and they're relying upon those politics to keep them paid and above water, and then when they get shut out, you know, I was watching the Will mm. Smith uh, Fresh Prince documentary when they was talking to uh, Aunt Viv. Him and Aunt Viv got together. Mm -hmm. The first Aunt the Viv, the dog yeah, skin They one. fell out. Yeah, they fell out. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Will, when you said I was hard to work with, I lost everything. I couldn't yeah. even get another job in the game. Yeah, you didn't see her on nothing else. Come on. After you said I was hard to work with, yeah. that was the nail in my coffin that caused my career to go to hell. And it's been hard as hell the last Since 20 then. years. What are your thoughts about the industry being that way? And what are ways that you can kind of circumvent that to still manage to be successful, although shit done got real? Well, man, the goal, man, in life, I would say, is to really be as independent as possible to the point where you don't have to kiss ass or yeah. or sell somebody out or to sit on your partner. Yeah. You know, because of what the higher ups and the people who cutting the checks are telling yeah. you to do. Hey, be high, you know. Um, yeah. You got to get rid of your cameraman because yeah. we got this guy now. No, you, yeah. you, you want to be able to stand down on it. You know what, man? I will stay in the this fuck that. If I can't bring my homeboy with me, exactly. man, I'm good. Yeah. You know, and that and that, that comes with um, independence. Yeah. That comes with some stability to be able to, to do that. And, you know, 50 didn't really start talking shit until he got his weight up. <laughs> yeah. You know, and he waited. It's, it's yeah. the perfect time. Wait till yeah. you get your weight up. Okay, boy, I got this on ABC. Mm -hmm. I got, boy, four or five shows going. Mm -hmm. Now I can talk my shit, and mm -hmm. I can bring in whoever I want. What y'all going to say? Exactly. If you say something, I'm going to take it to somewhere else. Just imagine, if stars was to trip off 50, man, Netflix is sitting back there <laughs> waiting for that Come man. on. Yeah. 50, we, we, exactly. We, they tripping over there. We got it over here. So that's that leverage, man. And yeah. a lot of us, yeah, don't. Um, more of us need to start supporting each other, man, and really sticking together, man. Because really, to see how folks really turned their back on Monique, I, I was upset. Yeah, me it. too. I was definitely upset. Me too. You know, I don't know Tyler or Oprah personally, but yeah. I was like, man, that's wrong. How y'all doing that, sister, man? Yeah, you know, and um. Cause when I heard her out, you know, when you hear her out, like she was really passionately making on the sense. Breakfast Club and making yeah. some hella sense, man. Yeah. And had the straight Charlemagne on the show, like, hey, yeah. you know, come on, man, what, 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 what part what, you what, missing? Which side you working? Yeah, yeah, like, do you hear? Did you just? Do I had to repeat what I just? Did you? Are you really listening to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I just made this shit so clear, and you still trying to tell me this? Yeah, you know. Um, we just got to start supporting each other more, man. And uh, I would say, like, even right now, as the boss that Tyler Perry is, shit, I, I'm hoping that he'll open up some vessels to put other cats on, some new directors and producers on. Yeah. To where you'll just see executive producer Tyler Perry, but yeah. produced by this cat because he's that big now. Mm -hmm. You know, so so that, then that way Tyler, because Tyler may not do street-type series or you know, shit really just grind me on streets or yeah. violence or whatnot, but it's still a market for that. What it, yeah. And we need somewhere, a vessel to send that through. But if Tyler, if you just totally against that, which is, that's really life. Nobody yeah. ain't really trying to turn you into no thug or whatever. Exactly. But there's a market for this. And you're gonna let these other people just, and now we got to submit to some people who don't really give a fuck about us. Mm -hmm. Whole nother 
type of yep. human to where we would love to bring it to you first because yep. you're a brother and you right around the corner. <laughs> Why do but, you think the people with the same hue make it so hard on each other and they can't figure out how to help each other out too? Because see, a lot of times too, that's one of the issues that I have is we sitting over here looking just alike giving each other hair. Man, and I try uh, not to use what most people say, oh man, that's slavery, you know, it started from back then. No, uh, <laughs> it's certain shit that I ain't just not going to blame on <laughs> yeah, slavery, bro. Yeah. I think it's just this little thing within to where, if, I don't know, it feel like people just don't think it's enough for everybody. Mm. And it really is. It's way more than enough to go around. Yeah. Four or five times, ten times. Um... I don't think people really sit around and, and really have real discussions and talk and be face to face yeah. and eye to eye like they used to because now, you know, everything is via, you know, let's do this Zoom call, but it's still a whole nother thing. Like, like straight up, man, if I, uh, it ain't gonna say if, when I'm ready to, uh, when the situation come around, when I'm ready to work with some people for real, yeah. all right, our first meeting may be a Zoom call. Yeah. But at the same time, I wanna fly to your city uh, to talk to you where you can feel my energy. Exactly. And just really know how the hell I am. Yeah. Because, you know, when we meet, you might feel like, oh, okay, yeah, he ain't, this, ain't the same guy yeah. from the Zoom call. So, boom, now you treat me a certain way. Uh, you know what I mean? I want yeah. you to feel me, see, catch this energy live in person. That way, for now, when, this, when you see me on a Zoom call, you can truly say, I really know that man. Come on. Because he flew out here. I yeah. come out. Especially if, I, if people are really ready to do business, when whoever is the main person over some, I don't have no problem flying to that city to meet them face to face. Yeah. And the rest of our meetings can be Zoom call, but somewhere in that equation, I would love to have that to where you can feel the energy, because that matters, man. That's yeah. how I look at even with music. You know, oh, I can see you the track, send me the stems. But if y'all not in there doing that shit together, you missing a whole nother <laughs> exactly. uh, step of this shit. So that's what it is, man. People don't really, they, they they ain't really really feeling each other really and they they and the communication aim is really just so wide open and they, they really ain't even communicating the way they should how do you feel like Kanye changed the game with the stem player though <laughs> because I think he just gave them folks a whooping with that man let me tell you something for Talk a long to time, me. I've been trying to figure out how to sell music <laughs> in a tangible form. You know me, man. Yeah. I've been sitting on the whole streaming thing. <laughs> yeah. And what's so gangster is the stem player because you can play stems, literally, mm -hmm. right? Mm hmm So. You mix it how you want it to sound. There you go. And that's brilliant because yeah. that's something that can only be sold in that way. And, and it's, my whole thing is mm. I heard a lot of people saying, like, Oh man, ain't nobody gonna pay that much for that. Shit, how much you pay for them Yeezys? Come on. So this man is the caught up with Jordan with his sneakers. You don't think that his same same following fan base is gonna who's buying these sneakers are gonna buy this? Yes, they're gonna buy that. And guess what? They don't even have to buy that many to make the same amount of money that he making in streams. No. And that's brilliant, bro. I love what Mr. West have done with that stream player. And I'm hoping to see some other artists become just as innovative because it's, it's way more ideas out here. You just got to sit down and really think and get with that right team. Like that right now, man, I, 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 I go through the tech building every once in a while in yeah. Buckhead and I holler at some of my folks. Yeah. Got my man, uh, Layron, you know yeah. what I mean? Real solid guy. He's an inventor, man. He's doing some big things. Yeah. And, um, and when you sit around, when you get around these tech guys, man, you'll find out that they really are looking to, to holler at folks like us in the music business mm. who hands on yeah. because they got some real innovative shit that could be banging in the next 10 years that where you could be a billionaire also but you just got to get in that uh, environment you know what do you think that something like the stem player would do to the industry though in the same breath because I mean you done, hmm. you didn't cut out the whole middle man with that and you it, didn't it, pretty it, much it, cut uh, out the big man too it's just all about you it, 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 it makes people um, it'll make the industry really reconsider Cause mm. I always said that um, even when you think about the streaming, I'm like, come on, man, y'all need to get this royalty rate up, man. Yeah, come on, man. I like this fraction of a fraction ain't working, bro. That ain't it. Yeah. So um, and I think he's putting the, he's, he's really showing them that that you could do this. That's why right now I feel like any artist who's almost out of their contract 
Of course, these labels mm. will throw something. Hey, man, you can renegotiate, man, for your new <laughs> deal. We're going to give you 1.5 up front. After you done made 10 million on the road, you mean you really going to sign with this label for 1.5? Like, man, tell them to throw some money at you that's not in your safe or that's yeah. not in your bank account. Or in the ground. Yeah, or in the ground. <laughs> Yeah, on the ground. <laughs> so it's like, oh, uh, yeah, you good with that one. You're a lightweight comedian. I fuss with you on that. Yeah, you know, the comedians always bring the shit back from the beginning. Yeah, you good. Hey, it, um, it, it's like, because right now, like, we we come from an era to where, I, I mean, I, I come from an era to where I, um, where you can have a hot record yeah. and it just be happening around here in the local. Man, boy, we just need some promotion and some distribution. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and that's what people really are running to labels for is for that because they feel that they will be promoted and distributed to this high degree I'm to where you. the whole, we can cover the whole globe. But yeah. right now with these computers and shit, yeah. you could just hit enter. And if you got the right platform, man, you hitting the whole world, world, world <laughs> at the touch of a button. Yeah. So when I think of the, the tips yeah. and the Drakes or whoever yeah. else who saying, ah, oh, you know, my, my deal is almost up with this label. Shit, man. Yeah. Go independent. Give yourself a year. Try to try that. And trap it up. Yeah, give yourself a year Come to on. see if you can be an independent label. Exactly. And 90% of the time, man, I bet you they will really not break their neck to go to a label at that point because once they see that they could really be successful without a label, just think, man, you could really run a record company now from a damn computer. Exactly. 